Okay, I'm going to try number 57 again. Number 57 in the Spiro book says a conical tank is leaking water at a rate of 75 cubic inches per minute. At the same time, water is being pumped into the tank at a constant rate. The tank's height is 60 inches while its top diameter is 20 inches. If the water level is rising at the rate of 5 inches per minute when the height of the water is 10 inches high, find the rate in which water is being pumped into the tank to the nearest cubic inch per minute. The volume of a cone equation is given. And so we're finding a rate of water is being pumped into the tank. So we're looking for a volume change. And we've given a volume change, so that could be a little confusing. Um, what we're going to look for is the rate that, like the end result rate. We know it's coming out, and then by doing that, we'll be able to find out how much is coming in. So the biggest secret to this kind of question, anytime a cone is involved, it seems like they've got some similar triangles inside. So in my other one, I started a video that got cut off. So in that video, um, what, we, what I did, the only thing I did really to get started was to rewrite my cone uh, picture up here as just a triangle with a triangle inside of it. So we know that the radius of the cone is 10 and then the radius down a little further we're not sure about so we just put that as R. The entire height of the whole cone is 60. The height at this moment is 10 but it is changing so I just put H for that. Um, let's see right here and then I lightly wrote 10 because that is going to be the situation but only temporarily. So the key to this, kind of like the man in a street light questions, is rewriting it as a ratio of sides. So 60 is our height, that goes with 10, our radius, is to H going with R. So I don't like that fraction look so I just cross multiplied 60 times R equals H times 10. And I can rewrite the form of that in a minute if I want to. We'll see what I want to end up getting alone. Um, I do know that dH dt equals 5 inches per minute, so I did write that down here below as well. So the next thing we want to do is come up here and look at our volume equation that we're given. We're given V equals 1 third pi r squared h. And what I take note of is that the r is changing and the h is changing. That fact means that we do have to use the product rule. The one-third pi is just going to sit outside the whole time, so it's going to look something like dv dt equals, I'm just going to leave that one-third pi sitting out front and do the product rule on the remaining part. So one prime two dh dt will be the derivative of h plus two, so h times prime of one, two r dr dt. And right now, I can plug in a few things. I, I'm actually trying to find dv dt. I'm given this dv dt, the 75, but um, that'll come in at the very end. What we're find, finding right now is the actual change in volume of the water each second, or each minute. So what I can plug in, let's see, I know the height right now is 10. I know the dh dt right now they said was water was rising at a rate of five inches per minute. So this is gonna be five. And now I've got some figuring to do to figure out stuff about R. So come back over here to my ratio. If H is 10, what will R be? So I'm just gonna write my, that part of this expression, I don't know how to hold this, mm, let's see. So I've got 60, R equals 10 H. Well, H is 10 right now, so R equals 100 over 60, which is 10 6 or 5 thirds. And so in place of R, I'm going to write 5 thirds. So I'm going to have the 2 that comes down. In place of R, I'm going to write 5 thirds. Um, what about dr dt? 
well, I know dH dt. Could I come up with some kind of relationship here? So I'm going to go ahead and differentiate this expression because it is a relationship between r and t. So I'm going to rewrite this as 60 dr dt equals 10 dH dt. Well, if I know dH dt is 5 inches per minute, this looks like dr dt equals the 10 times the 5 is 50, and then I'm going to divide that 60 over, so I've got 50 sixtieths, which is 5 sixths. So back up to here, I'm going to put in 5 sixths for that. So I've got 10 times 2 times 5 thirds times 5 sixths for this second chunk here. Um, I think we figured out our R was 5 thirds, so I'll have 5 thirds squared times 5, pi here, 1 third here. Okay, that'll do it. So now I just need to calculate all that. Um, let's see, when I did that earlier, I got here to be 13.889. I got here to be 27.77. So I get 43.63. And that's a volume, dV dt. That's what's actually happening to the volume of the water that's in the tank right now. And so that'll be in cubic inches per minute. So the volume is increasing currently, even though 75 inches cubed per minute is coming out. So the way I was thinking of this is if I put the in minus the 70, sorry, in minus the 75 that's coming out, because that's given in the problem, I know that the result is 43.63. And that right there might be the connection that you really, you watch the whole video just to find that out. But the good thing is now I know the result, I know what was coming out, all I have to do is add 75 to each side here, and I think I should have my final answer, which is... Oh, I think it's D. 119. <laughs> or approximately that. Because, yeah, that'll be close. So, final answer is D119. And that was quite a problem, but not out of the realm of things that you can handle. So, good luck on that one, and I'll be back soon. Bye.